Hello investors and welcome back to the channel. Now today we have another XRP news update for you. So please do consider subscribing and clicking the like button because we'll be bringing you daily XRP news updates and XRP price predictions. But not only that, we'll also be bringing you daily crypto news updates and crypto price analysis. Now, XRP has actually rallied to 39-day high as, of course, uh, the, uh, the Ripple CEO says that his company will actually prevail against the SEC. Now, of course, um, so this and more will be coming your way. Now, of course, Ripple uh, uh, affiliated cryptocurrency XRP has actually soared to $60.9 at 4 p.m. on the Bitstamp exchange and it has since paired some of its gains. Of course, XRP managed to reach its highest level since February 22nd this year when it actually uh, when, when it actually briefly soared to 65 cents. And of course, the token uh, XRP uh, suffered a very massive crash in late December and we all know the reason uh, this was actually after the ripple was taken to court by uh, the united states securities and exchange commission of course xrp holders who have recently been allowed to actually file a motion to intervene in the case uh, between R ripple and sec have actually claimed that the compliant caused billions in damages and that is why they want to intervene in the case now, also something that you should know is that we also reported that the Ripple CEO, Brad Gallinghouse, has expressed his confidence that uh, uh, Ripple would actually prevail in the lawsuit against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. And uh, he said this during his most recent interview with CNN's Julia Chartelet. So that is what happened concerning uh, XRP. It has... Uh, reached its new all-time high in the past five weeks and uh, things are looking promising for SEC uh, no, no rather things are looking promising for Ripple and XRP in general due to the way the court case is going forward but that's about XRP moving on to another story uh, the Financial Times experts Philip Stafford and Joe Renison actually noted that it took only 27 days for the former CFTC chairman to join the company he used to regulate. Now, um, according to a, a Financial Times article, uh, Citadel Securities owner Ben Griffin actually hired a number of retired officers from the U.S. watchdogs in this Thursday's announcement of uh, Heath Tarbetts, who's the new role appears to uh, whose new role actually appears to be one more example of this tendency and of course mr Tarbet served as the chairperson of the u.s commodity futures trading commission for the last 18 months and of course the crypto community will remember him for his remarkable law enforcement actions now mr Tarbet also charged crypto derivatives exchange bitmex with illegal trading and AML requirements violations and also uh, the CFTC was also rumored to actually launch the investigation of the world leading crypto trading platform Binance while no charges were actually filed. And of course Financial Times recalled that Ken Griffin also hired Greg Berman who's a former head of research at another watchdog the US Securities and Exchange Commission alongside Ryan Van Grack, the former SEC chair advisor. Now, meanwhile, Griffin's Citadel is far from being alone in this approach. As we also reported previously, crypto exchange Coinbase also hired former SEC director Brett Redfern while they were actually preparing for its anticipated IPO. So this looks like the uh, theme nowadays for these huge companies to hire employees or former employees of uh, uh, of uh, these um, regulators but uh, doing that in my opinion I feel like it's um, covering your sports 
and uh, you're not really sure of how you are doing your business so you need the likes and brains of uh, people like them to help you cover up your grounds once you go astray so yeah that's just me thinking though but let me know what you think in the comment also uh the cftc was also rumored to actually launch the investigation of the world leading crypto trading platform binance while no charges were actually filed and of course financial times recalled that ken griffin also hired greg berman who's a former head of research at another watchdog the u.s securities and exchange commission alongside ryan van grack the former sec chair advisor now meanwhile griffin's citadel is far from being alone in this approach as we also reported previously crypto exchange coinbase also hired former sec director brett redfern while they are actually preparing for its anticipated ipo so this looks like the uh, theme nowadays for these huge companies to hire employees or former employees of uh, uh, of uh, these um, regulators but uh, doing that in my opinion I feel like it's um, covering your sports and uh, you're not really sure of how you are doing your business so you need the likes and brains of uh, people like them to help you cover up your grounds once you go astray so yeah that's just me thinking though but let me know what you think in the comment section until the next time hello guys and uh, if you've reached this far thank you thank you very much for watching our videos we really appreciate your love and support and we don't take it for granted now for more news like this please do consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the red button uh, just below this video also feel free to click the like button because by doing that it tells it helps youtube to share our video to more people like you who would be interested in watching our videos uh, so once again i would like to thank you very much for showing support to our channel and um and, and i would like to promise you that your presence does not go unnoticed thank you very much and we are looking forward to having you to having you in the future through uh, more videos that will be coming your way so thank you very much Please stay safe, stay humble, do consider subscribing and clicking the like button. And until the next update, uh, bye bye.